We must fight crime in every way that we can. And we must bring the V, the special holy V, upon thine criminals. And that is why we doth the Overwatch. Welcome everybody to episode 8, lucky number 8 of CSGO Overwatch, where we try our best to put some VAC criminals behind bars. The proverb the proverbial bars of Gaben. Let's waste no time and get right into the first case. Remember to drop a like on this video and also leave a comment. You are more than welcome to leave your opinions on whether the suspect is hacking or not and of course it's dust too why why are we being shown the warm-up i mean it just it really upsets me okay so oh uh, <laughs> well i can see now why this this person is almost i, I mean i don't want to jump the gun but i've got a very good feeling that this suspect is hacking. A very obvious hacker and the reason why I say that is because it was quite clear that he knew someone, uh, people were, were going to peek the angles where he was looking. The distance that he pre-aimed was very, very small as well and just, you know, telltale signs of being a naughty, naughty boy or girl. He seems to keep using this deagle as well, just going for the head. See, look at that. That was just quite obviously a pre-fire, a pre-fire moment, shall we say. Also, just notice how terrible his movement is, yet he seems to be able to hit, you know, one taps with the deagle and shots very, very easily. And of course, if your movement is terrible, it kind of suggests you're not very good and your aim should also be terrible. Oh, oh, now that was a very lethal gap shot. And again, to do that, you need to, you know, kind of have a good idea that they are going to be strafing back and pre-aiming. And it seems like right now, he um, he could be looking through walls. 1v3, can the suspect do it? Has he got the awareness and the skills to make it happen? Oh my, beautiful, beautiful shot. And there we go, the suspect absolutely tearing up the opposition. What's his score? 21 and 0. Yeah, okay, so... And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm definitely going to go with evident beyond a reasonable doubt for vision assistance. And then I'm also going to go with evident beyond a reasonable doubt for aim assistance because there were a lot of 1Ds which looked extremely suspect. They may or may not be edited into this video, but trust me, I saw them. Everything else insufficient evidence and let us submit. Time to move on to case number two. All right, so we are are coming into the third round and once again would you believe it it is of course dust 2 what what am i what is this what am i watching oh hmm okay so let's keep that in mind he did strafe out there relatively confident that there would be someone in that corner once again, just from the movement, you can tell that this is a very um, lower tier level of Counter-Strike. Oh, if he'd hit that, that would have been abs <laughs> absolutely amazing. What is that, man? That was... Oh my god, these are some of the worst flashes I think that I have ever, ever seen. This is interesting. Is he maybe jumping to try to bait this heron guy out because he knows he's there? Hmm, that, that was an interesting, interesting turn of events. The... <laughs> I don't know. I just... These are in inspired grenades. That was beautiful. The jumping smoke bouncing off the wall coming back. That was just amazing. Oh, see, this is quite interesting because he very confidently entered the site there. 
he, he kind of semi made it look like he was checking the angles as he came in but you, you usually wouldn't push in that aggressively unless you 100% knew where everybody was on site and so it makes me think a bit, it does make me think. What's going on here? Is he just baiting? Oh, he's waiting for the orb, I see, and not providing support and then dying. That was absolutely useless. Oh, see, that there is... That is definitely pushing me towards the edge of that was a bit suspect. Because again, he very aggressively pushed onto Cat when he didn't have concrete evidence that it was clear. And not only that, he pushed towards... Um, he pushed looking down to behind doors. He pre-aimed that person. And so... Aim assistance, I'm definitely going to go with insufficient evidence, but because of that last thing and then some of the other things that I saw during the match, I'm going to go with evident beyond a reasonable doubt for vision assistance. It's a close one, you might disagree with me, definitely let me know if you do and the reasons why, but I'm going to go with that. Submit that verdict and let's move on to the third and final case. Here we go everybody, and would you look at that, three for three, dust two matches to Overwatch. Will we, however, be 3 for 3 in giving a verdict that condemns the person to Overwatch prison? Here we go, Suspect pushing long and lands a really, really nice headshot. We can't say right now whether it was dodgy or not. Oh, ooh. Was that initially going for the, hey, I'm going to try to make it look like I'm banging through the smoke and land a lucky headshot? Or was that, I can see through the smoke. Suffice to say, the aim isn't quite there. This is quite interesting. 2v1. Maybe this suspect just isn't that, you know, is a player that hasn't played the game that much. In a 2v1 looking sitting in that position looking down to ct isn't that strong so maybe maybe the suspect knew the person was there but again it's very tough to actually say okay now that for me could quite possibly be the nail in the coffin for this suspect. That is the third time that we have seen something that could be the result of not having walls, and that shot there, whilst it could have been lucky, compounded with the other evidence, I think strongly suggests beyond a reasonable doubt that this person is using vision assistance. Aim assistance whilst it was slightly questionable at times. I would I, I would have to go with insufficient evidence. Like, there were some moments where it was like, oh, could this person be using some sort of aim lock or something that controls the spread of their bullets? Overall, we could not say that it was like 100%. On the other hand, vision assistance was evident beyond a reasonable doubt, for sure. Insufficient for the other two, and let us submit that, and there we go, three Overwatch cases done once more. Remember to let me know your opinions in the comment section about our cases today, and we are done for today distributing justice. I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace!